I'm Sierra. This is my dog Snow. And uh, we're going to go on a little run today. I really want to start sharing more of our adventures with my friends and my family and people whom I hope to become my friends and who will become my van family as well. <laughs> Because uh, any of you who are already in van life know you have your van family, and if you're not there yet, you will have one, even if you think that um, you might not have one. That's why I thought. I thought it was just kind of silly. Van family, what's that? And oh, you get a van family, it's great. And I'm gonna sit down and like brush my hair and put on real clothes and introduce myself, but <laughs> this is me. This is what we do. And um, I work full time in the van. And I run a lot with my dog and I explore around and this is me so I don't often do my hair and put on regular clothes so anyway I look forward to sharing more with you guys and uh, yeah chat soon adventures and answer questions people might have and hopefully inspire some people to just get out there and do this because you can you really can and it's an amazing incredible thing okay now that I just hiked up that hill I'm out of breath time to show you where we're going today yeah so we're heading over this little hill here the trail fizzles out, but then we just kind of walk through the desert for maybe an eighth of a mile, not even, and hit up a little road that uh, connects to a bunch of trails, and it's a loop we've already done a couple times since I've been here, so it's been nice. And I get a lot of questions, not a lot, I get some questions of like, aren't you scared all by yourself? How do you not get lost? Why, why are you out in the middle of nowhere? just you and your dog. The reality is, well one, I'm not really in the middle of nowhere, like there's no one around, but if I go that way, I'm gonna hit a big road. If I go this way, there's a big rock wall. So if I go that way, there's a freeway. Um, yeah, there's really no way to get lost. Might just be walking a little longer, but what really has made me the most comfortable in these environments is that I grew up in the mountains of northeastern Washington. Uh, didn't have running water, ever. <laughs> Had to pull it out of the well by hand, two gallons at a time. Didn't get electricity until I was, I think I was nine. I keep thinking I'm a, I was 11, but my mom tells me I was nine. I was homeschooled, so I was by myself a lot, and I was just running around in the mountains. Like, that's normal to me. So this lifestyle is like home for me, literally. This is home. I love it. And I think Snow got a pokey. Oh, you get a pokey. Yeah, show me. Where's your pokey? I'll get it for you. Oh, better. Let's go. Good boy. So Snow and I started van life kind of part-time in July 2020. Weekend here, week there. I still had an apartment in Seattle. End of September, we went full-time. <laughs> and I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not. Like I knew I'd like it for a while, but I thought maybe I'd do it and go, oh, this sucks, I'm gonna get another apartment. I freaking love this lifestyle. And I'm never, I shouldn't say never, I'm not going back for quite a while. This has just been incredible. I feel more productive, more at home, safer. <laughs> um, and meeting these incredible people who just inspire you in so many different ways. All from different backgrounds, different parts of the country, different parts of the world. And all here for different reasons, but for the same reason. It's just amazing. If you think that Snow and I might be showing you top five trails off of all trails, um, you'll be sadly mistaken but you will see some amazing views like this 
because uh, we try to stay off the beaten path and explore. And uh, some of the most incredible trails I've found yet are just like this. So I hope you've enjoyed this little intro of Snowbow and I. <laughs> it was fun sharing with you and I really hope to be able to share more adventures and inspiration with all you guys. One of my favorite things at the end of a day or a bad week or a bad month or a bad year for that matter is to scroll through all of my photos. Typically you don't take pictures of the bad memories, right? And uh, it's a good reminder that, man, life is good. And even when you're feeling down and feel like maybe you're not where you want to be in life, you can do all the things that you wanted to do. You can look back and see all the things that you did do and uh, realize that you're pretty badass. <laughs> Yeah, you are Well, it's time for me to get back to work. Um, thanks for watching my little intro video with me and Snow. If you have any questions, uh, definitely reach out. I love connecting with people. And uh, hopefully, if you are interested in van life, and trail running, in canna cross, canna what, all along, and you'll find out. Um, dogs, health, cooking, mental health. Um, that is what I'm passionate about and what I will be sharing with everybody. It's gorgeous out. I gotta finish up my work uh, so I can pay my bills. <laughs> and I'll see you next time.